expensive and without the apostrophe, it trips up a lot of people. Okay, and along the same vein, uh, your versus your. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, uh, it's a pronoun again, so no possessive apostrophe. Yeah, I have to tell you, it, it does drive me a little crazy when mm -hmm. I see Y-O-U-R in place of Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Yeah. That's definitely. Yeah, 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 even even I know, sometimes do it as a typo. Yeah, it yeah. happens. It happens to the best of us. Further versus farther. One is distance and one is more figurative. Right, a farther is for physical distance, and that's easy to remember because it has the word far in it, and yet when you're going far, that's a physical distance. How much farther is it, Dad? <laughs> exactly. I will not discuss this any further with you. <laughs> okay, there you are, you know what you're talking about. And uh, effect with an A and effect with an E. One of the most common questions I get, uh, about 90% of the time, effect with an A is a verb, and effect with an E is a noun. Yeah. And so an um, easy memory trick, you think um, affect verb, effect noun, mm -hmm. the first letters are A, V, E, N. So I think of the raven flew down the avenue. I have this image in my head of a big raven flying down an avenue, and that helps me remember A, V, E, N, mm -hmm. affect verb, effect noun. Wow, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> That'll come in very handy. How about when people just make up words? That seems to be happening a lot lately. <laughs> it does happen a lot, and sometimes Sometimes it's necessary because there are new things to talk about. Um, the word of the year last year was locavore, which means to eat food that was grown or produced locally. Yeah. So, you know, that's an instance of where it's a good idea to create a new word because you have a new thing to talk about. Right, but I'm talking about making up a word when it, it's supposed to be another word. Like, for instance, supposedly. Uh -huh. I hear a lot of young people say supposedly. I know, and that's frustrating. What's even more frustrating is that supposedly actually is a word, but it's not interchangeable with supposedly. What does supposedly mean? I, I didn't even know. I, 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 I couldn't tell you what it means exactly. It's a rare word that is not used very often, but it's not interchangeable with supposedly. Well, I learned something today. Well, many things. In fact, I love the way the book is set up because it's um, very user-friendly. You can just kind of open it to any page and get a quick lesson, and it's um, done in a very humorous and um, accessible way. Yeah, I think it should be fun and friendly and easy to learn. I mean, why else, you know, nobody's going to pick up a dry grammar book and read it for fun. And, mm -hmm. you know, if it's not fun, you're not going to do it. So we yeah, try, try to make it as fun as possible. You do. I mean, you've got cartoons and just little jokes and, and fun little tips on how to remember stuff. Are you coming out with a, a second edition? Because I know that you probably haven't covered everything in this little book. Well, this came out a week ago, so it'll be a while before the second edition comes out. But I am already working on a book for kids and a book for college freshmen, but two or three years. Excellent. Yeah. Do you have any children or nieces and I nephews? Don't. I have nieces or nephews, and yeah, I give them Schoolhouse Rock uh, videos for Christmas. Very cool. Conjunction Justice. Oh, yeah, I love that. Those were great. <laughs> it was so much fun meeting with you, and uh, thank you for sharing with, uh, sharing with us this morning. I know everybody learned something. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. It's time to pass 7. 49, that means that